Michael Vick said he would like to coach in the NFL someday, and part of that reason would be to chase a championship. Now, there's a couple of thoughts that came out immediately after this was said and reported by NBC Sports, but we'll read you the quote in full to be fair. I would love to coach in the National Football League one day, Vick said. At some point, I'd definitely love to help work with the young quarterbacks and develop them and still compete, you know, with the team and with the coaches. It's another way to chase a championship. You know I'm not done. I'm not done by any means. You know, I didn't get the championship when I was playing, so hey, maybe I get lucky one year, maybe fortunate enough to join the staff that may be good enough. If I'm criticizing Michael Vick for his words, I would say, like, you don't, don't get lucky. If you want to be a head coach or a coach or quarterback's coach, be the best possible coach you can be to make the quarterback that you're coaching the best possible quarterback he can be to give that team the best chance of winning. Don't side with luck. However, I've always said I'd rather be lucky than smart or lucky than good. <laughs> so, you know, two way two way street on that one. I most people don't know that Michael Vick is like like one of my three favorite athletes to ever exist on this planet, um, alongside Ken Griffey Jr. and and, and and Jamal Crawford, of course, in the NBA. But the problem is, I love dogs. I'm like the biggest fan of dogs. I'd rather have more dogs than have friends because they're just better than friends a lot of the time. They listen more. They're more loving, they're nicer, they're way more fun, they're much sillier, good pe- they're, they're, they're good times, right? But Michael Vick also went to jail for like the dog fighting circle with his brother Marcus Vick and it's really messed up and the pit bulls were being like, you know, they're doing like the really messed up, like being hung from their jaws to make them stronger. It's disgusting. He did serve his time, so I think there's that. He did go to jail, he was convicted, went to jail, served and... Now he's out of jail. Um, But if Michael Vick wants to coach in the NFL, by all means, I think if it's the right fit, sure, why not be a coach in the NFL? Uh, I think that anybody, a lot, here's what, a lot of the time, great players, and I think Michael Vick was a great player. I'm not sure if he was, maybe some people put him in the very good electrifying kind of changed part of how the quarterback position was done altogether, like before Michael Vick was drafted highly or number one overall pick and like led the like led quarterbacks in rushing and was able to do the dual threat thing with his legs as much as his, uh, his accuracy, which wasn't that much, but his arm power, which he had a ton of arm strength. Uh, the quarterback was the pocket, perfect teeth, step throwing, Brett Favre, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, like Joe Montana, Dan Marino, they all kind of felt the same. And Vic comes in and he changes that game a little bit, almost to the tune like Allen Iverson did. I kind of compare them in a way that they were kind of on their own island when it came to how their impact was left for their sports. So if, like, Russell Wilson is the quarterback that he's going to be, would be hypothetically a quarterback coach for, or Marcus Mariota, or Cam Newton, people who do, who do it with their legs, um, I'm trying to think of other mobile mobile quarterbacks that, that could, they don't really lean that way as much anymore. Cam Newton's definitely one of them. Then it would make sense. I don't think you want... Michael Vick is your quarterback coach if your quarterback is Ben Roethlisberger, for example. Like Ben, ben Roethlisberger, although more mobile than he seems, uh, is more of a pocket guy. So find the right fit and coach in the NFL. I have no problem with it. I don't know how many people are interested in having Michael Vick as their head coach. I'm not sure if that comes with a backlash that should not necessarily, well, should exist more for Vick because he was convicted of an actual crime than it ever should for like, someone like Kaepernick. But at the same time, that's an entirely different story. So... Uh, comment below, like, favorite, subscribe. I'm going to finish this before I have to sneeze. You can follow me on Twitter and on Facebook at TYT Sports. See you next time. <laughs>